Well, welcome to Tea Time. That's right, Miss Liz is here, and you know what time it is. It's time to serve tea, but we serve tea in a different way. But we are drinking some tea today. We are drinking the beverage, but we're serving a different type of tea. We're teaching uh, educational awareness is Miss Liz's tea. But Daphne McDowell is in the house, and she's with Sacred Hearts Rising Sister, so I'm really honored to have her here. Uh, you know, I got to meet her in person, and... We, we've just stay connected. So before we get started on all of the different types of teas that we're going to be serving tonight, uh, this afternoon, we're going to get you over to Miss Liz's YouTube channel, ring that little doorbell and subscribe to it. And you can listen to these tea times at any time in the morning, afternoon, evening, or you can tune in when we're doing a live stream like you are, like we're doing right now, because that's always incredible to have you guys join us and leave your comments and questions and all that good stuff here. So today's tea that I'm going to be serving with Daphne is touching emotional and authenticity. And we're going to be talking about her books, her work, laser lights, all of that incredible stuff. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section. And Miss Liz will get those out to Daphne. Also, if you would prefer to stay um, anonymous, you can send Miss Liz directly questions on my Facebook page and I'll get those out to uh, Daphne as well. So let's get started with the disclaimer and then some bio on Daphne and let's get Daphne in here and let's spill some tea together and have some fun. Disclaimer for Miss Liz's Tea Time Live Show. Miss Liz myself is going live using StreamYard. Before leaving a comment, please grant StreamYard permission to see your name at StreamYard.com. Please be advised that the content brought forward for any Tea Time show hosted by myself, Miss Liz, is always brought forward in good faith. However, it may bring forward dialogues and opinions that are not representative of my platform. The facts and information are perceived to be accurate at the giving time of airing. All Tea Time guests and audience participants are responsible for using their good judgment and taking any action that may relate to the discussion. The content brought forward may include discussions for some where they may be emotionally at risk. It's significant to know that the show is engaging in discussion forums only to offer inspire awareness and connection and is not providing therapeutical advice. If you have any questions about the disclaimer or the panelist discussion, you may freely contact me, Miss Liz, through my email at bookingmissliz at gmail.com. Moving forward, should you choose to voluntarily participate in today's show in any aspect, I myself, Miss Liz, welcomes you. And should you decide that the show is not made for you at this time, I respect those wishes and we'll see you at a later show at a later date and time. And again, all tea time shows are hosted on a Thursday, 3 p.m. and 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you see a tea time on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it's a surprise, rescheduled, or a special tea time that Miss Liz has been asked to do. So, uh, let me give you a little bit on my guest. So who is my guest? Well, besides being the Sacred Hearts Rising co-sister, uh, she's a two-time international best-selling author, animal communicator, inter, inter, intuitive healing energy coach, cold laser and crystal therapy, reha rehabilitation and wellness practi practitioner. Daphne is honored to offer in-person and distance healing energy work for animals and people that are committed to healing themselves. She offers individuals or joint healing sessions for you and your pet. Daphne has been facilitating sessions for animals and people for over 20 years across the globe. Through the power of healing intent along with sacred gematrometry tools, cold laser and crystal therapy, you will receive healing vibrations anywhere in the world. Unwind from the stress and disease of life. Dissolve trapped energies and physical pain. Daphne received her re rehabilitation practitioner diploma from Grant Mc McCurran University in 2000. She also holds a diploma in animal science from the International Career School of Canada and a healing and crystals diploma from the University College of Re Reflect 
Dorgraphy. I've not saying that right. I'm going to get her to say it. Daphne is an international best-selling author, a public speaker who has been interviewed on various international podcasts and shows around the world. Let me get my sister in here and let's spill some tea today. Okay. Welcome, Daphne. <laughs> Hello. I'm not spilling tea. I'm going to drink my tea. <laughs> Well, we spill tea in a different way in this house, right? And we bring a good connection together. This is true. This is true. And I am so honored to have you here, Daphne, because it's been years since we've had time to sit and talk and share your story. Um, so, Daphne, we're going to start with who was Daphne as a little girl and who is Daphne now? <laughs> That's a loaded question. <laughs> who is I see the load out there. Pardon me? I shoot the big loads out there right, right. from the get-go. Who is Daphne as a little girl? Daphne as a little girl was an active teenager or was, was an active girl who was running around the farm doing things with the animals and horses and cows and cats and dogs. And, um, and then I was involved in a near-fatal car accident when I was 15 and um, wasn't supposed to survive. They wanted to harvest my organs that night, but luckily my dad said no. And um, they hooked me up to full life support for two weeks. Do you want me to tell this story now, or or do you? No, want no. I, I, we, we're, we're going to get it out. We got a whole hour, girl. You got lots of time. <laughs> well, so I'm just. I mean, so I came back. Okay, so I'll just say that I came back from a really bad car accident when I was young, when I was a teenager. But I'm blessed that it happened when it did because I was so in physical shape that I could heal quickly. I was only in the hospital for eight months. Um, and, oh, thanks, Diana. Oh, hello, Nancy. Um, I, I was only in the hospital for eight months. But since then, I have done a lot of healing. And I've done a lot of using a lot of different tools to help me heal my body. And, I mean, being an author in the Sacred Hearts Rising was the start of my writing journey. And then after I was in that, the, that, that book twice, I, you know, was blessed to write my own book called You Do You. And um, I've been invited to be in other books as well since then, too. But, I mean, I, who is Daphne now? Daphne is a lady that does things that bring her joy and make her happy. Like, I get to, I, I get to drink my beautiful, beautiful pea flower tea and chamomile that my magical friend Nancy, who's watching, made. And... Oh, mom, my, my mom's here too. <laughs> um, but yes, I, I do things that make me happy. I help people and animals to live a life of balance and harmony because I help them to unwind from the stress and dis-ease of their life. The different tools I use for myself, I now am able to share with others. You know, and, and Daphne, when we first met, we met in 2018 at the Sacred Hearts uh, Summit, and you gave me this beautiful necklace that you created that I'm wearing today on behalf of the memory that you gave me, because that was my first first speaking in public, uh, and it helped me ease, and you did some uh, light energy to calm me down because my anxiety was super high and all of that stuff as well. So I wanted to really get that out there to all of my listeners and audience, the incredible work that you do and the magic that you do. Um, you know, and having that accident at the age of 15 has really transformed your life into the beautiful woman that you are today. Uh, so let's talk about a little bit of that the crystal laser lights that you have in the background that is reflecting on you, which are purple. Like it's, <laughs> I can just see the nice, beautiful purple lights all around you. Well, and they're all running different frequencies, which is really cool. But okay, so what I do is I offer what's called distance therapy activation sessions for people and animals all around the world. Um, and it's actually kind of funny. I mean, some people watching this know this story already, but I, I used to work with agility dogs and my friend actually asked me if I could help a jog in Europe that just had back surgery. And I said, well, I could try. So I got a picture of the dog and I put the picture underneath all of this stuff. Like you can't see, there's a triple pyramid here. Hang on, I'll just move this out of the way so you can see. There's many different parts to this. So I've got, this is what's called the triple pyramid, which clears the energy of the body, the mind, and the soul. But they've also got a sun ring. They're sacred geometry tools that I use. So I use crystal therapy because I've got crystal I've crystals on here. Sorry, I should look at the camera when I'm talking and not look away. <laughs> You're good, girl. Don't worry. We got, 
<laughs> but so what I do is I take the person's picture and I put it on here on the board and then I put the neutralization ring over it because the neutralization ring takes everything from here to here and then it ground centers and balances you. So as easily as I can explain it, it takes out the bad stuff, it takes out all the bad stuff. And then the different crystals that I have on there each do something different as well. And then I put the sun ring on top of that to create like a vortex kind of, right? And then I put the triple pyramid on top of that. <laughs> hang on, hang on. And then this here is what's called the infrared light. And infrared light heals body, te bones, teeth, tendons, muscles, cartilage, and joints. So the physical aspect of things. And then this is the violet. Oh, I just unplugged it. <laughs> this is the violet light which heals the deeper emotional and aoric field. So you got the physical and the emotional. Can you tell I get excited about this? Absolutely. <laughs> and then I've got this thing here, which is what's called the portal. So I've got, these are the lasers that are plugged into the different probes that I have. So this is the next step up from the laser because these are targeted air, these target certain areas on the body when I'm working with an animal or a person, like if they have a knee injury or a shoulder injury or whatever, right? But this tool here emits a frequency to the entire room. So if somebody's just sitting in a room with me and I have this running, they're getting it too, which is really cool, which I love. Yeah. But so I've got this one actually running on bliss, right? <laughs> well, we're so blissful, right? We're, we're happy to be together. Right. And then I've got, I've got the, the violet light running on harmonics. And then I've got the infrared light running on miracle. And then I've got the other portal running on ease. So anybody watching this video can tap into these energies. I'm, I'm pretty sure that you can feel them too. Um, Absolutely. But yes. So I'll, I'll go back for a minute telling the story about the dog that was injured in Europe. So I took the picture of the dog and I put it underneath all that stuff. I treated the dog for a week. What happened was the dog had had back surgery and it wasn't walking. I treated the dog for a week every day and it was running around like a puppy. Wow. Distance energy knows no bounds. Energy knows no bounds. And, and, and that's what I really wanted to get out there, Daphne, is that, that you do not have to be in person to have this healing process done, correct? True story. I mean, I've got people that I do distance on and in person on. And I mean, I'm not going to lie. It's way more fun to do in person. But I mean, if somebody's in another country, it's going to be difficult for me to get there. Unless, of course, yeah. they fly me there. But, you know, um, that's always an option, too. <laughs> but it gives a strong message, Daphne, because it, it's saying that, you know, the energies are all around us right and yeah. it doesn't have to be right in person all the time uh you know like even when you talk to somebody on the phone you can tell if their energy is off or if they're up or they're down or yeah. you know the emotions uh we have a question here for you daphne do the lasers work with trauma yes okay could you oh, tell God, us how? yes they help to erase cellular memory of the injuries both physical and emotional okay. so um, I'm not, do I know the person that asked that question or no, they're saying anonymous. Okay. That's okay. That's totally okay. Um, but yes, there, I mean, like I said, for the physical, like I said, the light erases the cellular memory of the injury. When I, when I do a session on people or animals, I start off with the unwind frequency, which is the frequency of the earth. So because our bodies are so wound up right? Our adrenal glands are kicked in and everything else in our body shuts down because our sciatic nerve tucks our tailbone up underneath our butt, right? So with the 20 minutes of the unwind, our body can relax and open up to the healing that it needs. Then depending on the person or animal and helping and what they need, it's usually something physical. But that being said, there, sorry, I need to grab a book. Where's my book? I had a book handy. Where did I put it? I don't know where I put it. Oh, here it is. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. See, I told you you'd be all up and down. See, she's this coming book, for me. <laughs> this book is called The Secret Language of Your Body. I highly recommend that everybody gets this book. Because it talks about it talks about how different emotional different emotional things in the body affect us physically. So oh hang on. The light shut off. I gotta gotta turn it back on. Um I lost track of what I was saying. <laughs> you were talking about the book. Everybody needs to go and get the book. Yeah, because I mean so I was talking about how I do sessions. So I help the body to unwind. And then usually there's physical conditions that we're dealing with nine times out of 10, right? I mean, to start nine times out of 10, that's what we talk about. So I usually do then what's called the pleo frequency and pleo detoxifies and puts everything back into its proper hexagonal formation. So I call it the Buckley's of the energy world. It cures coughs, colds, and anyways. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes. Um, and then I, I, I mean, because I've got so many tools here, I can use different frequencies all at the same time. So I can, and what I've been doing more recently is I've been doing the different chakra points and I've been doing relieve, purify, pleo, rejuvenate, you know, whatever that person and or animal needs. You know, and then I finish it off with usually infusing miracle harmonics and energy and vitality. Just because that's, I mean, who doesn't need all that? So Daphne, we, we have another question here for you. Sure. Uh, with your accident when you were 15, you were in a coma, correct? Yes, I was. And was that where you got the calling for the, the lights and the crystals and healing <laughs> during that time? Or how, how did that come about? Well, <laughs> okay, so this is where in my book I talk all about that, actually. Uh, yes, Purify is definitely Nancy's free, favorite frequency. For sure it is. But I mean, in every frequency, is, okay, I'll go back, I'll come back to answering that question after I talk about the Purify. Um, every frequency touches somebody a little bit differently, but it touches them exactly how it needs to be touching them. You know what I mean? Yep. Does that make sense? Okay. Mm -hmm. So I didn't realize when I was first out of my coma or even years after my healing, you know, like, like I said, in my book, I, I now know that when I was in my coma here on earth, I was actually on the other side being bathed in the rainbow colors by the beloved rainbow council to unlearn all of my limiting beliefs that I had learned in my first 15 years of life. So that when I came back and I came out of my coma, there was never any doubt that I wasn't going to get better. Yeah. I just did what I had to do so I could get out of the hospital and I could move on with my life. I mean, I couldn't, there's lots of things that I couldn't do, but I just figured out different ways to do them. Yeah. So to answer the question, when I was in my coma, is that when I got my calling? I'm going to say yes. Did I realize it? No, because okay. I was 15 and I was healing and I was learning how to walk and talk and feed myself and dress myself again. I had to relearn all of that. So Daphne, you said something and I asked you what your favorite color was and you said rainbow, but you just talked about the rainbow being bathed in the, in the rainbow. So I think that's where the rainbow comes in, in your life. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, how did she pick the rainbow? But you just, you just shared how you, sh how you picked the rainbow. So tell us a little bit about being bathed in the rainbow, because there's different frequencies and different uh, energies around the rainbow as well with the colors and, and that the chakras that they throw off as well. Right? Yes. Um, honestly, there's real sorry i'm just looking at my book to see if i can find where i wrote about it because i can't i can't remember i should have had that out but um there are there really are no words like okay actually okay do me a favor close your eyes okay take a deep breath take a deep breath in and out <sighs> okay that peace that you feel on that breath out 
that relaxation that you're feeling right now. Okay, take another deep breath in and breathe out. That that joy, that glitter, whatever feeling. I mean, th there's no words that can explain the love and the it felt like being wrapped in a blanket of warmth. Like imagine a waterfall, a soft, gentle waterfall flowing over you, sitting in a, a clawfoot bathtub. And just all the colors, whatever color comes to you. That's that's the best way I can explain it. Take another deep breath in and out. You're gonna make me cry because I'm sorry. <laughs> No, and it's a good thing. And on tea time, the emotions are alive. I, we're live, and Miss Liz, you know, I am who I am. And definitely, when you said that, you know, being wrapped in the colors, yeah, it, it, it's really empowering because that's how colors connect with us as individuals. Yep. And that's why I asked that question to all my guests: is what is your favorite color? Because colors are connections. Yeah, on how we connect, right? It could be your favorite color because it's the sky, it's the water, it's the, but it comes back to the grounding, right? The grounding of how we ground ourselves. Um, so Daphne, I want to get into your tea because you just took me on a magical journey with with closing my eyes, and your tea is touching for your tea, and then emotional, uh, emotional and authenticity. I really want to get into those three words because that's exactly what I just felt when you made me close my eyes. Okay. And you know what? I just, I was just guided to, if you want at the end of this, at the end of my, at the end of my book or not the end, but near the end, I've got a moment for meditation where I did a meditation and I, there's, there's, look at me. I even need a QR code so you can hear it <laughs> as you read it. But if you want, I can maybe do that for you guys at the end today, too, if you want. Absolutely. So I, I just want to get into those words, touching emotional and authenticity. And then I want to get into some of the things that Nancy's uh, sharing here in the comment section. Okay. Authenticity. That's what it, that's what it is. Authenticity. Yeah. Authenticity. Authenticity. Yes, it's a Authenticity. tough word. Yeah, it's it's too long. It's like super super catafragilistic. Yeah, super Yeah, But um, I I've been blessed to because of who I am now, because of what I went through, because of what I've healed from. I am blessed to, I guess you could say, be a beacon of light for others that are dealing with difficult situations. I truly, truly want to inspire people to look at me and say, because of you, I didn't give up. See, that one makes me cry. <laughs> but I think, I think, you know, anybody that has gone through trauma in their life, Daphne, yeah. you know, having that beacon of life, having that one person that says, you know what, I believe in you, you got this. Yeah. Uh, you know, we need that. And I know that Nancy's in the house and she's also a fellow Sacred Hearts Rising Sister. And she's been there for both of us uh -huh. in times of trauma and that. Uh, she she wants you to tell us about the magnets. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> the mag magnets are magical. Um, magnets. Mag actually, magnets is what started me on my healing journey with the crystals. You know, um, all of the necklaces I make are made with magnet connectors. Do you see how I took my necklace off? I just pulled it off. Yeah. You know. Um, That's what I like about this one. See? Off. Right? Like it's not. And on. There, there, there's no, there's no whatever. Magnets, um, because of their positive and negative polarities, they balance the positive and negative polarities of our body. They stimulate the underactive organs and they sedate the overactive ones bringing everything into balance. Um, and then that's when I found the, you know, healing with crystal therapy diploma through the university college of reflexology. That's what you're trying to say is reflexology. Yeah. I couldn't say that word either. It's okay. It's totally okay. <laughs> I do the tongue twisters, right? When I can't pronounce something, I get my guests to say it 
because I don't want to show any disrespect to any of the work and, oh, and services that they offer, right? Yeah, uh, no, it's but you know, it's, it's like in class when the teacher tells you raise your hand and say the answer, but you can't say the answer, but it's on the tip of your tongue, yeah, and you know I you mean, can't. So you then you look at the classmate that's beside you, and you, you can say it for me. Yeah, exactly. Here. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, magnets, magnets are what started me on my healing journey. I mean. They really did because they made me feel good. And then I started, it actually all started with magnet earrings. I was working in a bank and my boss was down in the States and he knew my story of my car accident coming back from that. And I gave him magnets to carry in his pockets because I used to carry magnets in my pockets because they made me feel good. I mean, <laughs> funny enough, I've got magnets in my pockets today too. <laughs> Hang on. I don't, She's I don't, connecting us all together, guys. I don't look at. I don't leave my house without my magnets. I just don't, because magnets also deflect negative energy back to the sender. So, I mean, how many times have you been out in the world, and you know, there's this really negative Nelly or na negative Nelly or sour Sam or whatever, whatever you want to say, you know, and their energy is like wah at you. Right. <laughs> well, I mean, I've got magnets around my wrist. I've got magnets around my ankles. I've got magnets around my neck and I got magnets in my pocket. Yeah. I'm a little magnet crazy, but you know what? I'm in a good mood. <laughs> <laughs> what I really love about magnets is it connects us, right? It brings us together. Yeah. Uh, and no matter how much that force, right? Because as the magnets get closer, it really pulls us in together. Yeah. Uh, uh, Nancy said something here about the chakras can be overcharged as well as blocked and drained. You want to share a little bit about that? Overcharge. <laughs> I'm like, hmm, what does she want me to say? Um, well, I mean, because there's so many different things that, you know, we encompass in a day. I mean, our hearts can be so, <laughs> yes, yeah, super califragile. See, but Dan is a teacher, okay? Yo, know, she's talking about how she puts magnets in her bra. She puts magnets in her bra. But um, our energy, I mean, our energies can be overwhelmed by the good and they can be, you know, dragged down by the bad. But with the services that I offer, I can help to clear and balance them. I think I think that's what Nancy was asking me to tell. Yeah. Oh. Well, you know what? It, it's the chakras, right? Like when our chakras are off and they're drained or, you know, we need to go to the different different parts of chakras. Do you want to share a little bit about chakras? Because some of the listeners out there might not even know what chakras are or what we're talking about. So we want to share a little bit about that, Daphne. Well, I mean, there's do you want me to talk about each chakra? Yeah, I mean, sure. There's yeah, there's, go ahead. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, right? Right. There's a crown <laughs> chakra, you know, which is, you know, your like, okay. Actually, you know what? I've got I've got a poster here. I've got a board in my my room here that helps me connect with the chakras when i'm working with people but okay so okay so we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna do this actually where is it i've got a sheet here that i'm gonna walk you guys through a chakra thing that you can tune into your chakras if that's okay yeah absolutely this is your time girl shine shine away so i don't know where it is oh here it is Okay, so I'm, well, <laughs> okay, you want to do this? Let's do this. Okay, so I'm, I can just take a deep breath in and out. Sorry, I'm just picking up the papers I dropped. Take a deep breath in and out. I'll get you to close your eyes too and just tap into you. Don't worry about anything else or anyone else. So I'm going to get you to repeat after me, Miss Liz. Okay. T today I embrace the memory of my past. Today, I embrace the memory of my past. And I feel grateful for all that life has given me. And I feel grateful for all that life has given me. I acknowledge that I did the best I could at the time. I acknowledge I did the best that I could at the time. And now I'm ready to let it go. And now I'm ready to let it go. I clear my future road ahead. I clear my road. My future road ahead. My future road ahead. For miracles and happy surprises. For miracles and happy surprises. Okay, so take a deep breath in. Hold it at the top. And then blow it out through your mouth. I'll get you to see, picture in your mind's eye, 
a beautiful white or golden light tickling the top of tickling the top of your head this is your crown chakra when you when you have that picture in your mind just give me a yep yep okay i am connected to the divine source so i need you i need you to repeat after me sorry oh. i'm connected to the divine source i am connected to the divine source of the universe of the universe i'm open to the healing power i'm open to the healing power of spirit of spirit working in my life working in my life i am light i am light i am love i am love i am enough i am enough take a deep breath in and out and as you're breathing out see that light turning from whatever color it was to a purple as it's going to your forehead that's called your third eye chakra and then let me know when you get there deep breath in and out okay i'm there okay repeat after me my mind is open to new visions my mind is open to new visions i expand my awareness i expand my awareness through my higher self through my higher self I am open to inner guidance and wisdom. I am open to inner guidance. Inner guidance and wisdom. And wisdom. You betcha. Okay, take a deep breath in and out. And as you're breathing out, see the light going from purple to blue and down to your throat. So it's your throat chakra. Hmm. Let me know when you get there. I'm there. Okay, repeat after me. I'm aligned with my highest truth. I'm aligned with my highest truth. I communicate this with love and honor. I communicate this with love and honor. I speak my truth. I speak my truth. And express myself honestly. Say that again. And express myself honestly. And express myself honestly. Okay. Deep breath in and out. And then as you're breathing out, go down to your heart chakra and see either going pink or green. You get to choose. I got green. Okay. So you're there. Okay. Repeat after me. My heart is open to receive. My heart is open to receive. The energy of love. The energy of love. I radiate this essence. I radiate this essence. I walk my path. I walk my path. With ease and grace. With ease and grace. I have the courage to love unconditionally. I have the courage to love unconditionally. To love unconditionally. Deep breath in and out. And go to your solar plexus chakra, which is just about an inch above your belly button. And see it going from the green to yellow. Let me yep. know when you're there. I'm there. My will and divine will are one. My will and divine will and divine will is our one. Our one. I am connected to the abundant flow. I am connected. Connected to, to the, the abundant, abundant flow of the universe. Flow of the universe. I easily manifest my dreams. I easily manifest my dreams. I'm in touch with the source of my power. And I'm in touch with the source of my power. Deep breath in and out. And as you're breathing out, see going from a yellow to an orange down to your sacral chakra, which is about an inch under your belly button. Oh. You feel the tinglies? Yes, I do. Down? Good. It's perfect. Okay. I love all dimensions of myself. I love all dimensions of myself. I delight in weaving. I delight in weaving. The creative tapestry. The creative tapestry. The creative tapestry. Yep, that is my life. That is my life. I receive pleasure and abundance. I receive pleasure. Pleasure and abundance. With every breath I take. With every breath I take. Okay, so breathe deep breath in and out. So you're going from orange to red as you go down to your base chakra, which is right at the bottom of... <laughs> Bottom of your being, I guess you could say. Some people say it's at the genital area. Other people say it's their feet. Whichever works best for you. Let me got know it. when you're there. I got it. I'm connected with the energy of Mother Earth. 
I'm connected with the energy of Mother Earth. Of Mother Earth. My body, mind, and spirit. My body, mind, and spirit. Are grounded. Are grounded. Centered. Centered. And pure. And pure. I trust in the goodness of life. I trust in the goodness of life. To carry me through. To carry me through. Take a deep breath in. And then breathe out. That was perfect timing. <laughs> Do, can I get you to do three deep breaths in and out too? See, and that's how I start the in-person sessions with people to get them to tap into their bodies. And we do that as I'm unwinding them because I've got a, a frequency mat that I can plug my portal into. So it helps their body to unwind from everything, to be yeah. open to receiving the healing it needs. And then when I'm doing the in-person sessions, I also do offer karmic releases that I was blessed. That was, I was blessed, they were shared with me in my healing. So I've been blessed to share them too, you know? And then at the end of everything, I've got a purpose affirmation. Would you like the purpose affirmation too? Sure. Go ahead. Give it all to me, girl. <laughs> okay. So repeat after me. I honor the truth of my spirit. I honor the truth of my spirit. I'm open to my path on this planet. I am open to my path on this planet. I honor the gifts. I honor the gifts. That are flowing. That are flowing. Within my path. Within my path. On this planet on this planet i acknowledge my intentions and inner guidance i acknowledge my intentions and inner guidance and inner guidance i'm open to my deepest wisdom i am open to my deepest wisdom and i trust the unfolding of my journey in front of me and i trust the unfolding of my journey in front of me of my journey in front of me deep breath in and out And see, this is, guys, this is what I love about my guests is they take me on a journey and you get to see Miss Liz take that journey with my guests. That's what it's all about. Uh, it's enjoying so, the energies together. I'll, I'll go back to talking about the magnet. So, so I was given, so my boss, I had magnets in his pockets and he had problems at the airport because he had the magnets in his pockets, but he, <laughs> So when he was down there, there was somebody trying to sell him magnet earrings. So he bought the magnet earrings and he gave me the magnet earrings. He's like, Daphne, they'll balance your brain because, you know, I'm coming back from a head injury, right? Which I didn't take any offense to it. He meant it as a, you know, kind gesture. I thought it was wonderful. And um, I put them on and I felt like a million bucks, a million bucks. So I was like, I need more of these. So then I started making them. And then people were like, oh, these are awesome. I mean, my God bless my husband's soul. He's like, you should see if your friends want to buy these. And I thought, because I had like 40 pair of earrings, right? He's like, you don't need 40 pair of earrings. I'm like, well, sure I do. I've got red ones and green ones and blue ones and purple ones. Anyways, I don't make earrings anymore because my friends are like, you should make bracelets and necklaces to go with these earrings. But the problem with magnet earrings and magnet necklaces is they stick together. <laughs> If you're wearing magnet earring and you have magnets in your necklace, they stick all the time. <laughs> so yes, I, I I delight in designing custom pieces of crystal healing jewelry for those that need it. Daphne, I want to talk to you about the yoga bracelets. What's that about? Oh my God, the yoga bracelet. That was I I started making those. A long time. Those were one of the first bracelets I did. I, I actually haven't made one of those in a very long time. But um, they have all the different crystals to balance all the different chakras. And they're kind of like malas. They had like, I think, 108 beads in them so that, you know, you could do the breath work with them. You know, breathe in and breathe out. And breathe in and breathe out. But, yeah. Any other questions? <laughs> 
I'm just floored because you took me really on a strong journey. And I want to thank you for that. And I want to thank all my listeners and viewers for taking that time to just let me go through that process with Daphne. Because well, I, I hope that they all did too. You know, and, and that's exactly right. Because in setting an example and sitting here and all of the things that you made me say, you know, they can reach out to you and they can connect with you in that as well. Um, Daphne, I want to talk about the book, You Do You. I love the title because I say it all the time. If anybody's following Miss Liz, you Miss Liz says it all the time. Just be yourself. Do you? Yep. You know, uh, how did you get the title? You know what? I I had the title and the last line of the book for years before I wrote the book. I really did. Um, the title came to me one day when I was I was helping a friend with something, and they were having a difficult situation and they were going in the same cycle, the same cycle, same cycle. And I was trying to tell them that, you know, if you want something to change, you need to change something, but they weren't ready to hear that. And I, I, I finally just looked at them. And I'm like, you know what? I love you, but you need to do you. Yeah. You do and, what and you I, do. And I like that title, right? You do you because you're being, straightforward and you're letting them say you know what i'm just not for you you do you do it your well, way well that that's just it like i mean i'm not knocking anything about what anybody does i'm just saying this is what i've done see because my book is about the journey of my life and the different experiences that i've had in my life and the different lessons i've learned along the way and i mean i had beautiful and in the book i talk about all the beautiful people that have helped me along my way on my healing journey and at the end of each chapter there's a question there's a question that you know the reader can answer for themselves so really it's not about me it's about you <laughs> well it's a self-reflection right you're yeah. reading the chapter and then you're asking that question and they have to look within themselves yeah and i think that's really deeply important when we're doing when we're reading books especially books that are healing uh you know and giving a personal story and touch so how long did it take you to write the book, Daphne? To write it, it took me a year. To edit it, it took me a year. And if anybody ever told me how much work it was to write a book, I don't know if I would have done it. But I'm grateful for the person that helped me do the editing in my life. Juan Publishing, Cynthia Garneau from Juan Publishing, helped me with my editing. And she, I mean, because she's a dear friend of mine, that's the only reason that pushed me through to get it done. Yeah. Well, yeah. And, and we talked about that before we went live, right? The people that helped us along our journeys that we yeah. never should forget them. You know, well, what are their lessons learned or blessings? We should always give grace and thanks to them. Right. And I mean, at the back of my book, I don't have a, what do they normally say? It's at the back of the book, the, the resources. I call it resources from people who have inspired me. And oh, I, have, I, like I have all the information from all the people and the way that you can contact the people that have helped me and the different links to the different things that I talk about in my book. Yeah. Well, it, so, go, it, go, it goes right back to your tea, touching emotionally and authenticity. 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 I can't say it. She's going to say it for me. So we're going to do the T and the E and Daphne's going to do the A. <laughs> <laughs> it's being your authentic self because what I've found is if I'm not my authentic self, I'm not happy. I tried for so many years to do things the way that people told me to do things. And I wasn't successful. Yeah. And well, I mean, it goes right back to your title of your book, right? You do you, you know, you had to do. I, I want to talk about the cover because the cover is really beautiful. So how like, did you get the cover of your book? How, how did I get the cover of my book? There's the cover of my book right there. Oh, wow. That's a statue, my Metatron statue. And I got the cover of my book because um, I was used to spend a lot of time in a place called Clarity in Edmonton here. And the person that did the pictures for them, the owner of Clarity, Chris, introduced me to Costas. He's the guy that did the picture for my cover. And he took my he took my statue all around Edmonton and took different pictures. There's one picture that I really like, but there's only one picture I like better, but I couldn't use it, but it was a reflection of him in the water. That was cool too. Oh, wow. But um, yeah, so 
I had, I had a local artist come and take, like I gave him my statue and he took him around Edmonton and took his picture and a whole bunch of different spots. And I had to pick which one I wanted. I think it's really cool. Like the, the, the cover of that book is just amazing. Like it, it draws you right in, right? Thank you. You, you know that there's something, something that's going to heal you just by the cover, the, the image looking within. Um, well, and you can get the book on Amazon. You have to type in You Do You by Daphne McDonough, but it'll come right up. So would you like me to read the back? Sure, absolutely. Okay, it says, this is for all the people out there who too have struggled through life and felt like they could not be themselves. People who are dealing with difficult situations and feel like there's no way through. This story is to share my life experiences with you, to let you know that yes, tragic and horrible things can happen, but you don't need to stay stuck in the lower vibrating energy. The choice is yours as to what comes next and no one can make it for you. Even if at times it does not seem like there is seem like it, there is always a choice. Um, we are now here at a crucial point in human consciousness and it is time for us to all shift our energy to uh, energy to one of comp compassion versus competition. It is, it is time to acknowledge your inner guidance, or inner your intentions and inner guidance, to honor the gifts that are flowing within your path and to trust the unfolding of your journey for your highest good. May you find that one nugget in my story to assist you on your journey and, and make your way through life. May this inspire you to follow your heart and do what brings you joy. And you're drinking big heart tea today. I and am. And even the tag says, uh, because we have hearts, right? We have two yeah. big hearts that are joining together. And Sacred Hearts brought us together. So it's all about the heart, right? The heart chakra. Um, Daphne, I want to talk about some of the services because we have some questions coming in asking what type of services uh, you have available and how to connect with you and all that, that good stuff. So I want to get that information out there to all the mm -hmm. listeners for that. Well, like you I see you have my website up there. People can track me down on my website. I've got a services link on there. Um, I mean, depending on where you are, right? If you're in Edmonton, I can come to you. I mean, if you're close to Edmonton, I can come to you, but if not, it's gotta be distance stuff. Um, if you'd like me to create something for you, I mean, just contact me through my webpage. I've got a contact me link on there. Um, I, I offer, I mean, in person, I off, I, I offer in-person sessions. I offer distance sessions. I offer for animals. I mean, when I'm working, sorry, when I'm working on, when I'm working on people in person, here, I'll show you because I grabbed them. See, this is, remember that little neutralization ring I showed you? This is the big one. I put this under the frequency mat, under the person's root chakra so that it brings everything and ground centers and balances them. And then we use the sun ring, the big sun ring. I got a funny story. My friend Sandra was visiting me one day. And she didn't realize the sun ring was sitting under her on the day bed. We were visiting having tea. And uh, she, she started to feel tingles in, I guess, her nether regions, you could say. And she's like, I don't understand what's going on. Daphne, I, I, what's, what's going on here? And I said, oh, the sun ring's underneath you. That's what's happening. Sorry. So Daphne, have you ever been called like when you go to an event or something and you just feel like there's these people in the in walking around, right? Just everyday people that are walking. Do you ever feel like you're drawn to a certain individual that you have to go talk to or kind of uh, let them know what your services you have? And <laughs> no, <laughs> I for many. When I first started doing the crystal healing jewelry, I, this is, okay, so let me, let me explain. Okay, when I first started making necklaces over a decade ago, nobody was doing it yet. Yeah. Nobody was doing crystal healing jewelry. I mean, I was a secret rock carrier. I carried them in my bra too. But then I got to the point that I had so many rocks and I had like lumpy boobs. So <laughs> I had to do something. So I started creating the jewelry so that I could wear the jewelry. And then I got so excited that, you know, everybody else wanted to. And I tried to convince everybody that this is a really cool thing. People either get it or they don't. Yeah. They either get it or they don't. And I don't, I don't, I don't chase the birds. Let me explain that story. What happens when you go to the bar park with bread to give the birds? 
If you chase them around going, here's a bread, here's a bread, here's a bread, they run away. Yeah. But if you sit on the bench and you toss out the crumbs, they show up. I don't I chase like, the birds. I don't chase the I birds. I like that. So, Daphne, we have a question about crystals. Where what? should you wear your crystals? Where Besides the bra, on? right? So we don't have lumpy boobies. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, wherever you, I mean, like I said, here, I'll set this down. I've got around my wrists. I've got around my ankles. I've got around my neck. I never used to like to wear necklaces until I started creating these and I felt good wearing them. I mean, there's magnets at, at the backs of these necklaces. So my occipital ridge is getting the magnetic therapy all day. I mean, uh, I, could you share a little bit about that back there? What's that? The occipital the, ridge? Yeah. What is that? The occipital ridge is at the base of your skull. It's what connects your skull to your spine. And I mean, I guess because of my head injury, it got knocked out of whack a bit. So it, it helps me feel better. The occipital ridge, the occiput holds your occipital ridge, which is basically the power center of your spine. Okay. I mean, I'm not a chiropractor. I'm not scientific. I just know that it feels good there. <laughs> um, but it does make sense because all of our necklaces, even without the magnets, it goes right there. Yeah. It goes. So, it, you know, there's some, some connection there. Uh, and it, a necklace is connecting, right? You undo it and you clip it together. Uh, so yeah, that's really cool. So what is your favorite crystal of all the crystals out there, Daphne? I knew somebody was going to ask that. Hands down magnets, hands down. Um, zebra Jasper is my, I would say my second favorite crystal because it does so many things. Oh, look, <laughs> thank God my binder's in here. Okay. So I started making these jewel, this jewelry and people would say, well, what does this one do? And what does this one do? And, and I mean, okay. This is a binder that I have created of different crystal information because there's so much information. There's no way I could memorize it all. Yeah. Let's be real. Okay. So, I mean, if you like, I could read you all the stuff that magnets do, but it's like, here, hang on. It's like this much information that magnets do and this much information that Zebra Jasper does. And if you go to my website, actually, there's a link on there. It's crystal information. There's a link on my website. It's crystal, crystal information, and it gives you all that information, too. But, I mean, Zebra Jasper is my favorite crystal because it's the best stone for pain management. And for 20 years, I lived in pain. I had headaches for 20 years because of the head injury. But I also realize now that the reason I had the headaches was because I wasn't listening because I wasn't listening to what I was supposed to be hearing. Were you, were you scared to hear what you were? I didn't, told? I didn't know. I didn't know because when it happened, right. I was 15. I was just working on healing. Like I said, yeah. I was just working on getting better. I was just trying to learn to walk again. Yeah. You know what so I mean? We have, we have a question here from Dan Nancy. Is it the C1? I'm guessing that's what she's talking about the back here. That's above the C1. Above the C1? Yeah, it's above the C1. So, so Daphne, you have some events coming up and some special stuff that you would like to put out there for all of the listeners who watch to the end. They have to watch to okay. the end to get stuff. So let's get that out there for all the listeners out there. Okay. Well, first off, there's this fabulous event. It's, it's called the YEG Empowering You event. It's an event that I've been asked to be a vendor at. And it's an inclusive event to raise awareness to support people with disabilities. And everyone is welcome. I mean, I was a rehabilitation and wellness, a rehabilitation practitioner for almost a decade. So I worked with people with disabilities in the community and in their homes, you know, to help them learn valuable skills to live life. But then I realized that not everybody wants to get better. And I decided to change careers. But so, but this, this event that's coming up, it's coming up on the 21st of September and I've got links on my page. Um, I should, huh. We'll figure out how you can share this with that too, Liz. Mm -hmm. 
Cause, yeah, um, absolutely. No, I'll, I'll get that out on the page for cause, you. Cause well. Yeah, because there's a QR code that you can put on there and people can get tickets that way. So, Well, in this event as well, like after the 21st of September, for anybody that listens to the replay of this show, say like in six months, can they find out more about this organization and that as well? Definitely. Oh, for sure they can. It is... Hang on, let me see. That's dark in here right now. But yes, they can totally... Totally contact me. It's, it's, I mean, it's for supporting individuals with disabilities and yes, just track me down and I can fill you in and get you connected to them. Yeah. Because we want to keep our tea time listeners and audience engaged with, with you. So like in six months, if they, if they watch this tea time and that event is done, they can still connect with you and see what other work you have or events or anything coming up as well. For sure. For sure. And for people that have stuck it through to the end, <laughs> I would like to offer a 15% discount on my package distance activation sessions. So if you're not in, I mean, even if you're in our, our Edmonton and you'd like to access the distance sessions, um, I would like it if you could contact me directly and using the word gratitude, say, I saw your show on Miss Liz's Tea Time and I am grateful, you know, to access your distance services. Use the word gratitude. And then I'll know that you get the discount. Just saying. Right? And no skipping to the end, guys. You got to watch the whole episode, you know, because Daphne offers so much incredible services and information out there as well. Uh, Daphne, before we wrap up, I just want to throw out some of the, the other books that you've been in. You were in Sacred Hearts 1 and 2. Uh, and your titles in those books, in book one, it's called Roots. And in book two, it's called How I Found My Wings. So if anybody would like to check those out as well. So if you want to put those up. You bet. I, I don't actually have those ones in my hands right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> you do. You probably do. Okay. That was, <laughs> yeah, one and two. There you go. That's beautiful. I don't happen to have those at hand right now. That's Sacred Hearts Rising 1 and 2. And then this is the third book I, I wrote called Daphne's Healing, or You Do You. And then I did a chapter, I was asked to do a chapter in this book, it called, it's called Animal Prince for the Soul. And oh. it's called Animal Prince on My Soul by Candace Gish. It was put out by the Divas at Care Network. And um, what's my chapter called? The chapter was called Whispers from an Angel. And I wrote the, I wrote the chapter about my dog Shiloh, who actually, actually, hang on, is right there on the on my book cover or on the back of my book of You Do You. See, I didn't do my homework good enough because I didn't find that book. When did that book come out, Daphne? Oh my goodness, I don't even know. A um, couple of years ago, I think. Was or it before Sacred Hearts or after Sacred Hearts? It was after. It was. It came out after. It was two thousand and twenty-two. Because my book came out in 2021. So, Daphne, do you have any plans to write another book or oh, a part of another anthology or anything like that? Or you're just done? <laughs> you like how I answered that? She's like, mm. as of a lot right, of work to write. As of right now, no. But I'm super excited for Nancy. I'm sorry, I just have to throw Nancy in there. Because yep. her, her anthology is coming out October, beginning of October. And so this weekend I get, I, I get to read the book because I'm doing an endorsement for her book. So that's exciting. But, Absolutely. Um, and, and I like that we're putting these shouts out because Nancy was also a tea time guest. So if anybody wants to check out Nancy's uh, two tea times, she was on season three and season five. So you can check that out as well. Uh, you know, and I'm looking forward to reading Nancy's book as well. Uh, I can't wait to hear hear all the good stuff and all that good stuff. And Daphne, what, what final message would you like to leave everybody with today? Sure. Put me on the spot. Um, it's all about you today. <laughs> <laughs> Do what makes you happy. If you're not doing something that makes you happy, stop. Do what makes you happy. That's it. That's all period. Well, I really want to thank you, Daphne, for joining me and sharing all the incredible stuff that you do. Uh, you know, there's so much work that you do and services that you offer that everybody just run over to her website. So Daphne, if you'd like to spell out your website so everybody can uh, check it out for all the audio listeners out there as well. Okay, so it's D A 
P-H-N-E, and then healinghands.com. Awesome. Well, did thank I say, you. Oh, actually, D-A-P-H-N-E-S. Did I put the S in there? Daphne's Healing Hands. Com. There we go. Well, thank you so much, Daphne, for joining me. And thank you, Nancy. Thank you, Thorns of Heaven. Thank you, Diane. Uh, I just want to put out some shout outs. Brenda, your mom. Uh, thank you, Wendy Robinson, who was also a Tea Time guest. Thank you for supporting uh, another fellow Tea Time guest. You know, this is how it works on, on the House of Miss Liz. We all support one another and we all connect and we all spill different types of teas, real life stories and, and words. And that's how we make a difference with uh, bringing tea to the table in a different way. Uh, I will be back at 7 p.m. with the second tea time of this week with Jolie Interready. Interready. I hope I'm saying her last name right. And we're going to be talking about illustration and crafting and all of that good stuff and the fantasy world of how life and family stories brought all of her books to life. So we're going to be talking about that. And then we will be back on Monday with baseball scouting. That's right. Miss Liz is all over the place. I just bring all the different topics to the table. So if you want to check out Miss Liz and all that good stuff, just check out my website at www.misslizesteatimes.com. Check out the YouTube channel. There's over 300 plus interviews from all walks of life and all different countries that bring different flavors to the table. So until then, I will see everybody at 7 p.m. And again, thank you so much, Daphne. And thank you to all the viewers and listeners out there. You are the ones that make the difference uh, when you join me for tea. So thank you again. Thank you, Liz.